A West Michigan man had an unusual, massive aneurysm a few years ago. Now he's learning more about why and is sharing why certain testing is so important. 13 On Your Side health reporter Elena Holland has his story. Timothy Meyer loves a good joke. <laughs> but six years ago was no laughing matter. He'd come home from work. When his medical journey changed in a moment. And it was while I was getting cleaned up that suddenly I felt in my abdomen what I would describe as a, a wild vibration. Uh, it felt like electricity. He passed out and his wife called 911. By the time I reached the hospital, I had, I was in the single digits of a, of a chance to survive. He had a massive iliac aneurysm that ruptured. And it wasn't until they actually lifted me from the gurney, put me on the table, that I experienced the most horrendous pain you could possibly experience. I put it as, on a scale of one to 10, it was 100. It just was out of this world. Uh, basically, I felt things sloshing in my system. Dr. Aeneas Yasa rushed the former pastor into surgery, putting in a stent in his vein. When that aneurysm, when we looked at it and went, gosh, what a sizable aneurysm for a young person, um, that's got to be associated with some sort of genetic predisposition to aneurysm development. After a hospital stay, Tim did genetic testing. I had a genetic disorder. We didn't know exactly what it was at that point, but it was a connective tissue disorder. Um, technically, PRKG1 is the gene, and it is a rare uh, issue in which the artery tissues are weakened. You know, we see a lot of people with lots of different gene variants. I have not seen that many people with his specific gene variant. Tim has since had four more aneurysms that have been repaired before rupture and another likely in the future. She just put in all this time for me and saved my life. But now, learning about his rare genetic variant is helping others. You know, his willingness to tell his story has really helped us understand the different ways that people present. If somebody tells you they have this wild vibration, they need to get in the hospital right away. So, Elena, what happens if you find you do have a genetic variant like Tim? Well, Dr. Yasa said it's very important to have your family tested as well. She said patients who have family histories of aneurysms are more likely to have them themselves in multiple locations. Uh, Tim's sister also has had them, but she thankfully did not have that gene variant. Elena, thank you.